the Room podcast, scheduled to make his second appearance for the UFC at UFC Fight Night on March 12th is Chris Moutinho. Chris, welcome to the show once again, man. How you doing, bro? I'm doing good, bro. Thanks for having me, man. I really always appreciate it, bro. Well, my friend, uh, second time around getting into the UFC uh, cage there. We got some time before that happens, man, but let's talk about this uh, this next opportunity. You're taking on Guido Canetti, my friend, uh, a veteran UFC fighter. Not the best record for them, but he's been in there a ton of times, a lot of experience, man. Uh, how you feeling about the matchup and how to come about? Um, I feel good, man. I feel good. Um, I just took the first name they offered me. You know what I mean? That was the first name that came up after my uh, my other fight got got pulled. So it's 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 just what it is. Yeah, his record's not great, but he, dude, when you're in the UFC, you're fighting all these talented guys at 135. I think it's the top division in the UFC. You have so many good guys, so many great fighters, and um, it is what it is. Sometimes you lose, bro. Sometimes you lose. Well, this is definitely um you know, a kind of a better matchup for you. I mean, you were scheduled to get, go against Aaron Phillips, who definitely a better record, definitely uh, better scraps in the UFC. The fight uh, fell through. You had a minor injury. Now you're back at it, and you're taking on uh, Guido. It seems like a fight that uh, could be really, really in your favor going in there, even though he has the experience, Chris. Uh, we know what you bring to the table, and uh, this could be something special for you. What are you thinking about, you know, your your talent against his? I'm just thinking about performing. You know what I mean? It doesn't, like, on paper, it doesn't really matter, man. You can say this or that. I can be this guy. I can, I'm can. i better here. I'm better there. It doesn't matter. We still got to get into the cage, and we still got to still swing our swing our fists at each other's face and see who goes down. You know what I mean? This is, this is what it is, man. If it was just on paper, man, we wouldn't fight. We wouldn't fight. There'd be a lot of fights ended just because some guys look better than the other one. You know what I mean? I'm going. I'm going in there. I'm not overlooking this guy. I'm gonna go and train every day for the next three months, and then I'm gonna go in there and try to end his life. You know what I mean? That's that's what we do. And that's that's what I've been doing for the last ten years of my life. You know what I mean? Well, I know you're driving right now. Well, you're not driving. You're a passenger with one of your training partners coming from regiment right now. Chris, are you, uh, I mean, this, like I said, there's still a lot of time here uh, before the fight night here. But are you uh, going to be scheduling to head to Vegas, get some training there? Or are you going to do most of it uh, here in New England? I'm staying here with, with my team. You know what I mean? I got a great team over at regiment. Um, my strength and conditioning coach over at uh, Barbell 88 and then I started at a boxing gym, uh, and I got great coaches and training partners over there at uh, at uh, Uppercuts uh, Boxing Club in Ashland. So I just feel great, man. I'm really blessed to have the team that I have, man. And, uh, I'm just so so happy, man, to go out there and uh, lay it all on the line for them and bring bring home bring home some wins. You know what I mean? Well, Chris, you were supposed to be in there in October, and you know, like we said, you had a minor injury. What's that? You know, what's that feeling? You, you know, you're building it up. You're gonna go back in there for your second time. You have this huge fan base following you, waiting for Motino to get back in there. That fight falls through, and then now you have to redo it again. I mean, is this something that you're used to just from your career? And it's just you know another, you know, another fight you got to get ready for. Yeah, it, it put me into a little bit of a funk. You know what I mean? Like uh, I was, I was in a good, a good vibe. Like I was training, I was getting back. I was training like three, four times a day. I was in a, a really good, really good mental space, and I was uh, getting ready to go in and, and go to war. You know what I mean? Aaron Phillips was a good fight. I, I thought it would be a, a fun scrap for everybody. And then that kind of like I took a, I took a kick to the rib on my rib, and it was, uh, it kind of set me back. You know what I mean? I couldn't really train, couldn't really do much. And then uh, it hit me. It hit me. It hit me harder just because of, like my brain was going through some things, and uh, I went into like a little depression type type vibe. And I wasn't really training. Didn't really feel like training. Didn't really want to do anything, and didn't know if I even liked this shit. If I wanted to do it, you know what I mean. And it was. It was like a. It was a little. It was. A, it was. It was a tough thing, and I. I started to, like get into the, get into my head and realize like if I if I let I worked my ass off to get here and if. And if I didn't go out and give give it everything I had and, and work my ass off, like I would kill, I would hate myself for it. You know what I mean? And it it kind of got me out of there. I got some self help books. I talked to I talked to people that I really care about. And, uh, 
uh, I'm back in a, back in a good space. You know what I mean? I'm training again. I'm training hard. I'm training three, four times a day, and I'm, I'm just working right now. I'm just working really hard. And I can't wait till March 12th so I can go out there and show everybody who I am. Excellent. Well, you're going to be in Vegas at the UFC uh, Apex, man. Uh, have you – you haven't been there before. I mean, I know you visited, uh, you know – Vegas and trained a little bit there. Did you get to uh, go there and check that place out? And what's your feeling about fighting there? Yeah, it's. I went. I went to the. I went to the Apex. It's, it's a nice little, nice little area, nice little, nice little venue. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's going to be more like going to Plymouth Memorial Hall or one of the venues over here. You know what I mean? The cage is smaller. Makes us makes it more more uh, us more amped to fight. You know what I mean? We have to fight. You can't run around in the big ass cage. And, we're going to be right in each other's faces, and that's where I like to be. You know what I mean? Everybody who knows, everybody who sees me fight, watches me fight, they know, they know what I'm about. They know what I bring, and they know what I'm trying to do. My coaches want me to do some different things. <laughs> Obviously, they don't want me to stand there and take punches. But man, I, I got, I've been working a lot with my boxing coach. I've been working a lot with Tommy and Brian. We're gonna we, we're gonna have some cool things for you guys uh, from March 20th, Mar March 12th. Excellent. Well, the card, you know, there's only a, a couple, you know, two or three fights that I've seen uh, announced, man. Uh, but I would imagine, you know, there's going to be a ton of eyes on you, Chris, when you, uh, you know, you make that walk. Uh, what's the feeling like, uh, you know, second time around? Are there nerves, jitters, or is this, you know, you've been doing it so long that you just block that out and uh, you just go in there and work? The, the fight stuff is what I'm, what, where I'm, where I'm at, Pete. You know what I mean? The, the stuff, the, like. The, the, I'm not gonna lie and say I don't have nerves. Obviously, there's nerves. Nobody wants to go out there. And I, 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 I take real pride in this sport, and I take real pride in what I do. There's no, there's never a day where I want to go out there and get embarrassed and get beat up on camera, and, and like this. So obviously, there's nerves. But it is what it is, bro. Like it's no different than fighting at home or fighting in front of twenty thousand people. It felt the same as felt the same as anything I've ever done. You know what I mean? It didn't feel no different. So. I'm I'm just I'm just ready, man. I'm just ready to go and uh, go home. You know, home home is in the cage when we're smashing each other's face, man. That's where I live. That's that's where my brain works the best. You know what I mean? Excellent. Well, a couple more questions, and then I'll uh, you know let you get going. Uh, you know, you trained hard tonight. You're driving home. Uh, you know, Chris. Um, as far as you know, the training and everything. You've uh, you've been helping some fighters along getting get into the cage themselves. Uh, you know, you've been on the other side, uh, coaching a little bit, man. What's that feeling like? You got, you know, a trainer partner, a young guy in the with Brendan in the car with you right now. That, you know, you kind of, uh, you know, watch and, and bring up and, and help along. What's that feeling like being on the other side and being able to experience that helping other fighters along? Yeah, I've only, I've only done it once, man, and it was it was the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. You know what I mean? That was that was scarier than fighting, bro. Being outside it being outside a cage, watching somebody get hit, and knowing that knowing that you can't do anything about it, man, it's crazy. So I feel I feel bad for my coaches when they when they have to watch me do it, man, because I'm fucking I'm, I don't do a fucking thing that they tell me to do half the time, bro. So it's it's crazy, bro. So no, nah, it was cool, man. It's cool to be able to to be able to help other people when I can, and because uh, they will help me, man. I wouldn't be here without them. So I always want to give back to everybody I can whenever I can. You know, I love and I love these guys. Like the guys that are around me have been around me since I started this shit. Man, my little brother, my little brother Brandon Demora, every 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 other one of these guys. Without them, I wouldn't be here. Without 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 them, I wouldn't be me. You know? Excellent, my man. Well, we're less than two weeks from Christmas. Um, Chris, your fight's not until March 12th. Do you get to celebrate a little bit in this, uh, you know, these holiday seasons? Or are uh, you, uh, you know, foot down on the gas pedal and it's just work, work, work? Well, dude, if I like to, it, dude, everybody's heard me say what I like, how I eat and how the fuck. So I got I, I already had to stop now. Cause I'm like, if, if, if I don't get on the discipline with how I eat now, it, 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 it ain't never coming. You know what I mean? I, <laughs> Over over that like I told you that little depression spell I had I'm like at 160 163 right now and, and that's just me eating shit so now I'm working with my boxing coach he's got me doing like 800 burpees a day and every everybody else has got me working hard and they got me eating right and they got me doing everything I need to do man I'm gonna be a different animal when I get into that cage I'm gonna look different feel different and it, it's it's all it's all 
all thanks to these people, these people that I got in my life, good people, man. That's something that has been a, a staple in the last couple of years. You know what I mean? Find great people that are willing, have, have like minds, and are, are, are all on the same path and trying to do good things without fucking drama, man. Drama was something that, at the start of my career, was, was burdening my brain, like, every day. It's something the last few years. I only keep, I've only kept really good people in my life that don't bring shit to my, bring shit to my face like that. I'm so happy where I am in life right now. Excellent, my man. Well, here in New England, we're so happy for you, Chris, uh, representing the, the area and doing what you love and doing it with uh, a lot of class and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, flash, I have to say, man. So, Chris, man, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, man. And congratulations on this next, uh, you know, this next opportunity for the UFC in March 12th. Uh, last thing, Chris, uh, say shout outs. Thank you. Sponsors. And anything you want to say before I let you go and uh, get home and rest? Yeah, man. Thank, thank you. Happy holidays, brother. Um, yeah, I want to, I want to say thank you uh, to my all my team, my teammates and team. Uh, I want to thank uh, Regiment Training Center, uh, Uppercuts Boxing Club, Top Game Management, Lowe's on MMA, and uh, and uh, Barbell Lady, man. All my training partners, man. I got so many training partners. I can't, I can't fucking shout everybody out, but I love, I love every single one of them. Man. Uh, yeah, guys, you guys know where my Instagram is. Just follow me, bro. Excellent, my man. And it's blowing up always. Uh, Chris, I have it right on the screen here. So anyone wants to get in touch or see Chris, man, uh, check him out on Instagram because that's the page that blows up everywhere. So with that said, Chris, thank you so much for the time. I know it's, uh, you know, you're training all the time and uh, you're getting home to probably eat a little bit and uh, rest up. So I appreciate your time, man. And uh, again, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, bro. Happy holidays. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. All right, man.